So then the first race started with drama. Leo Polcini getting a really, really very good start off the line. It was later judged, though, but it was maybe slightly too good. He jumped the gun, and a 10-second penalty was the result. Everyone cleanly through the first couple of corners of the lap, and Polcini set about building a huge advantage. We then saw a rather peculiar spin for the Olif Racing Audi. There were then many subsequent spins before the car ultimately came to a rest in turn 14. It turned out it was leaking oil at a heinous rate. It spun on its own oil several times. And that, of course, brought out our first safety car period. As the safety car period ended, the pit window began, and it was a very, very busy pit lane. Leo Polcini stayed out there, of course, to try and rebuild his advantage and build a bigger cushion for Ben Jahitez, who was set to take over the car. Here is, here is the driver change. That was the pit stop as Hitez took the car over. That pit stop, though, would be found out to be too long, and an, uh, too short, I should say, and an additional five-second penalty was applied. Rima Jafali with a crash, and unfortunately, the uh, number 18 FIBA Motorsport Mercedes uh, will be not classified in today's results as a result of that one. Back from a second safety car period, and the racing was tight as Janine Schopner tried to hold on to an overall podium. Unfortunately, ultimately, she couldn't quite do it. Alan Valente, though, held on to what became the victory. Ben Jahitez was ahead of him on the road, but 15 seconds worth of penalties dropped the 63 Oregon team Lamborghini down to eighth in the overall standing.